skiptoflip.com. You've been asking for it. You've been driving for dollars, saying, who do I use to skip trace numbers? You have lists that you need phone numbers for. You may be using that list for direct mail, but you want to use that same list for phone numbers. Well, I have the answer for you. On top of that, if you stick around in this video, I'm going to show you my go-to list that I create using dealulator.com, aka PropStream, and I use that same list for direct mail, but also skip trace that list for cold calling. So if you stick around at the end of the video, I'll show you how. So guess what? Stand by. Let's get it. Flip man, flip man. Huh. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get yeah, that bag. Hello guys, this is Ty AKA the Flip Man. And today I'm introducing you all to skip2flip.com. You should see it on the screen here, right? But I have my man that's the actual back door to where you're gonna go, which is skipvault.com. Now you say, well, why can't I just go straight to Skip Vault? Because we're going to give you a, uh, a credit. It's a, no, it's a, it's a special incentive. So everybody okay. that comes to skip to flip, so his website address, you get special pricing and you'll get special pricing forever. So you always, no matter what, you, even, even though you know Skip Vault, don't go there. Go to Skip to Flip because your price is going to be lower when you go to Skip to Flip. Boom. Boom. There you go. Because only the Flip Man can get you guys deals like that. And I know I look ridiculous here. Y'all never see me with a hat, but hey, I'm, I'm doing he's, it for you all. He's hanging. He's hanging. I'm here at Kegel. I'm in uh, Phoenix, Arizona yeah. right now in their offices. Jamil and I are in one room. Lily is in the other room, so over to you, Lily. Show these people how to use Skip to Flip to find more property owners to do more deals. Super awesome. Yeah, let me just share my screen right now. Here we go. Hi, Lily. Hi. How are you guys doing over there in the other room? We're doing really <laughs> We're good. <doing> good. <laughs> <laughs> so awesome. As you can see right now, I'm over here, and what I did is type in skip to flip.com, and here we are. Uh, all I'm going to do is click on Find Property Owners Now, and it sends me to skipvault.com. Ty and Jamil, I'm just going to move you guys over here to the left a little bit. Okay. So while you're here, you can see this is just a website. Um, it talks a little bit of what skip tracing is, um, and you can go in here. And what is skip tracing for the people that uh, don't know, Lily? Yeah, for sure. So say um, you're in the real estate area, or even um, fun thing, if you are a, let's say, a bride and um, you just submitted, you just got engaged and you're looking for a wedding dress. Well, if you're a bridal vendor, you're actually, actually able to grab a list um, of recently engaged people and put it through Skip Tracing. If, they have, if you have the first name, if you have the last name and a mailing address, or just a property address, and you're able to find their phone number. So now if I'm a bridal vendor and I want to sell wedding dresses to recently engaged people, I might want to use this service and find their phone numbers and then contact them. Now, in the space of real estate, uh, what this does, guys, is when you guys pull lists, say you're trying to find vacant properties, or you pull the equity list, or you pull um, you know, the, the water turnoff list, or whatever niches that you're, you're pulling, this is where you're going to find contact information for those addresses, all right? So, skip tracing essentially is getting phone numbers for motivated sellers. Yes. You can call them or text them. Cool. Thank you, Lily. For sure. So it's multi-use, but definitely if you're looking to start flipping and you have a list, these are this is the best way, one of the best ways I think to get leads. So the first thing, way that you're going to start is click on get started right here. And if you already have an account, that's awesome. But if you're just starting out, let's click on register. Here we're going to create an account, your first name. So I'm going to do Lily, my last name, and then my email. Um, I am already registered, so I'm just going to grab my boss's email. <laughs> so here we go. Um, and a password. There we go. 
So you click and accept. If you haven't read through those, which I have, go in and make sure you read through it. And then you create an account. Super awesome. Then it's going to lead, lead you right here. So again, you put it, put it in there. And you log in. So you, there's a few things in here. There's your account where you can go ahead and put your credit card, debit card information, just your email. All of your orders that you will ever skip trace through here will be available in all orders. And you can go back to there anytime. Your most recent orders that you just submitted and you want to download, you can click in here as well. Orders that are not yet ready, which shouldn't be a very long time that they spend in this section, um, but they'll be right here. Um, and if you want to upload a list, that's um, more people, you know, 50 people, 100 people, upwards of that are thousands of people, 50,000. You're going to upload a file in here. But if you're just looking for three people, three people, go ahead and submit it in there. Two in people batch. in here. Okay. Yeah, in batch, skip trace. Okay. And what, if you are looking to only do one person, you can also do this and it will charge you separately. So what's cool about it is that you don't have, there's no limit. You don't have to have you know, or a minimum, you don't have to have five people or there's not a minimum of 10 people. If you just are looking for one person, you can also do that. So if I'm going to click on here, start search, and I have somebody's first name, last name, and a property address. So often, what's so cool about this is that oftentimes people actually need the mailing address. But with our data, what we're looking for is you can actually just type in a property address and it'll also try to pull that data for you to have uh, phone numbers that are going to be in there. So I actually did a test on myself and just to see how accurate this data is. I put my first name, my last name, and my, just the, where I live and actually pulled up the right stuff. Everything was accurate 100%. So that's pretty Ooh, cool. Why don't we do a test right now, not with your address because I don't want anybody showing up at your house, but <laughs> let's use my name. Okay, let's do it. Jamil. AMG. Jamil. Where do you live? Now I have to type in the card, so you might. Let's, let's type in a card. Let's use one of your cards that you got on there. All right, sounds good. Because they can't see. Yep, there you go. Use a, use a, yep, there you go. Charge it to Hunter. <laughs> Charging it. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Josiah, I'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> I know. <coughs> All right, guys, here we go. This is my order details, my name, um, how much it costs to do a single skip trace, and the card, and then I'm going to click submit order. It's more money for singles, guys. Correct. So you want to try to do a batch. Wow, look at all those phone numbers for me. Jamil, let me know if you see your phone number in there. Yeah, it's number two. There you go. And, but let me tell you what's hilarious, okay? So um, number two is, my, is the right number, but these are all my old numbers. Wow. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Mm. They, like, this is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is every phone number I've had in the last 10 years. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's how accurate it is. Yep. So there is your mail's phone number. If you have a house to sell, send it over. Um, but if you are having fun and you just even want to start, you know, with seeing how accurate it is, put your name in it, put your number in it. Only costs fifty cents. But if you have a list, it's m much cheaper and much more cost effective to go ahead and do it in a batch. So um, guys, here's the thing, right? Typically, skip tracing is like twenty five cents. Sometimes you can get it down to twenty cents, and the best that we've seen out there is eighteen cents. But because of Flipman and because of the relationship he has uh, and because he loves you guys so much, he negotiated an opportunity where all of your skip tracing is going to be 15 cents a skip for batch leads, right? So 15 cents. I mean, go skip 100 names. That, that's, that's how you change your life. That's so that's, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. So now when you're driving for dollars or whoever or you got a uh, – a water delinquent list or a tax delinquent list or whatever, uh, maybe 30, maybe 3,000. You know, you do the math on that from that point. What and, do you think the best lists are? Um, what I like to target is, um, is free and clear. 
Okay. I so, want, so I want free, clear, free, free and clear, a- absentee, owned for at least one year, depending on the market. Somewhere like out here, and things I'm have to do five years because the list will be so large. You start out to doing extra filters, you know, to, to break the list down depending on the, the population of the county or zip code that you're targeting. But I like to start with free and clear absentee. I want the equity to be there. Sure. Sure. Off the top. Makes sense. You know, for wholesaling now. Yeah. Now, you may be looking for subject twos and things like that. Then you can get in the pre-foreclosure list and so on or whatever. We still yeah. can wholesale some of them, but I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. So, uh, it's just for wholesaling. You know, but that's the great thing about building lists. You can do it to what you feel is the best target to create um, or target motivated seller. So, so what do you typically, uh, what list provider do you send your, your folks to? Well, at dailylater.com. 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 So you guys go to dailylater.com. That's where you're going to get your list. You're going to bring your list to skip to flip, okay? That's what you're going to do. You upload your list, and away you go. All right. Okay. So I promise you I'm going to show you how to, number one, build a list and my favorite type of list that I like to target. So I'm going to go with Riverside County, California. This is a highly populated county compared to a lot of others. Um, so what we'll do, we'll go into filters. First thing I'm going to do is select uh, non-owner occupied. So I'm going to select no here. I like to target free and clear. But as you can see, you can do vacants, liens, pre-foreclosures, auctions, bank on cash, buyers, high equity, free and clear, which I'm going to choose, bankrupts or divorce, tax delinquents, flippers, failed listings. So free and clear. All right. So I'll go ahead and select the property type, residential. Then um, single family, property uh, classification, and then property type, single family. All right, the MLS status, I want it to be off market. Uh, Pre foreclosure doesn't matter. So, uh, owner type, own individual. Don't want to mess with any LLCs or entities. Uh, I'm going to do five years. Uh, but because this is a heavy populated county, as you can see, it's pulling up over 39,000, uh, properties. I'm going to do, um, owner occupied, but I'm going to also, after T owner location, I'm going to, um, include, um, I'm just going to select out of state here, right? Um, really don't care about the sales date there so so now I'll close this and it pulls up over 5,000 listings so you'll select all and we'll you'll filter out and how you use this so it's only going to let you download a certain number at a time so you'll start with a um, thousand and then you would have to go from a thousand one to two thousand and then two thousand one and so on so you hit add to list. If it's a brand new listing, you'll just save it this way and you name it and then save. Or if it's an existing list that you want to add to, then you do that. So I'm not going to save this particular list. Got to have plenty saved already. All right. So I'll cancel this and uh, you'll find your list over here at my properties. And by the way, if you didn't know, we're using, um, Dealer AK prop string. All right, so uh, I'm going to select this particular list here. Now, uh, you'll export everything by selecting all here. But before you do that, um, before you export, you want to go here over here to this cog here, the settings, and you're going to remove everything except the address of the property, city, state, and zip. You'll remove county, owner, occupied or not. And you only want it for skip tracing purposes, only owner one's first name and owner one's last name. All right. And uh, so you'll select owner two last name, owner two first name, mailing care name remove, uh, mailing unit remove, and then everything over uh, here. All right. Okay. So then you scroll down, you hit apply. The list will adjust as you see the columns change. So now uh, it's ready to export, which I've already done. All right. So 
Where are my downloads? Okay, so once you open the list, and if you don't have Microsoft Excel, you just save this. You can open it, open it in G Google Sheets. If you have a, a Google Gmail, you already have uh, Google Sheets. All right. Now, it actually downloaded more information than I intended for it to download, but um, I can go ahead and correct it really quick. So, um, it still kept the owner. Well, it actually did download exactly what I wanted, but it still includes. So, what I can do is just simply um, delete everything over here to the right. So, I select that, and you delete. So, boom. So... This is all of the information you need. So you have the address of the property, the city, state, zip, um, owner, first name, owner, last name, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip. All right. Now, once you uh, do that, you save it. Okay. And now that's when you'll get over here to uh, back to skip vault. And um, that's where you'll upload your actual list. Okay, so we're here in Skip Vault. And so you're going to do Bat Skip Trace, which uh, Lily showed you how to do the single skip trace. So you'll do Bat Skip Trace. And you'll hit uh, Select File. And we'll go here. So we'll do the first name. Owner, first name. Owner, last name. All right, and the actual mailing address, um, mailing state, mailing city, and mailing zip. We hit next, which I added in the, in this, so I have to go ahead and select those. So I hit property address, which you don't have to include that um, in the search. Uh, so this is state, uh, city, and zip. So you hit next. And from there, um, you hit next to enter your payment information. And once you do that, uh, it'll take you through. And it's pretty simple from there. And um, the next step will go as as shown when whenever you do the actual skip. But that's how you actually upload the list. And that's my go-to list there. Now you can go in all types of directions there with uh, Diggle at AK Pro, Prop Stream as far as creating lists. All right. So, um, boom, I really appreciate Lily and Jamil sharing this new opportunity to help you guys do more deals. And again, go to Skip to Flip to take advantage of the discount, skip to flip com. That's the number two, right? Yeah, the skip number two. The number two, yeah. Flip. Dot com. Yeah, exactly. And so uh, you'll see the link here in the description of this video or the or the comment section if you're on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever. Just go to the site if you're on Facebook. So boom, skip to flip.com. Thank you, Lily. Thank you, Jamil. Thank you. And now um see the hat. Keep them at my boys and Phoenix. So boom. Thanks, and we'll see you on the flip side. Flip man, flip man, it's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. cash. Get that bag.